What if there was a way to turn those old RF-only TV sets from a pile of garbage to a retro treasure with no modification? Hi, I'm Steve and welcome to Retro Tech. While everyone in retro is gushing over the new RetroTINK 12X Sony PVM VR simulator prototype, I'm left wondering about the real problems of the world. What should we do about all these RF-only televisions? The Reflex is a new adapter from Mr. Add-ons that offers an easy solution in a miniature design. This device easily connects to your grandma's TV set using any coaxial RF cable. Add a USB-C power source and you have instantly upgraded your CRT to display composite video with stereo audio. Thankfully this device is so easy to use. You just simply tune your television to channel 3 or 4. Then select the same channel on the Reflex RF adapter. All you need to do now is connect your RCA AV cables to the other side of the device and send in your analog signal. If you set everything up correctly, your image should display immediately. The picture quality looks great. You get a nice 240p or 480i image through this device. And I really didn't notice any additional interference to the RF signal. Hey, and not only does the signal look great, but it does not add any significant amount of lag to your video chain. You could get close to the same results using a VCR with RF out and composite video in, but that comes at a cost. VCRs are much bulkier and will take up more space in your setup. But if you're looking for the cheapest solution, the VCR will still get the job done. Now this device is primarily intended to get RF video from a mister, and it works perfectly for that. However, it offers a solution to anyone looking for a small device to expand the capabilities of their older CRT TV. All right, so there is one thing that you cannot do with this device, and that's use a PAL signal. It's really untested for PAL, so it's just designed and tested to run NTSC. All right, everybody, that was my review of the RF Reflex. Look, this is a great little device. I had fun testing it. I had really no troubles using it at all. I would recommend that if you want one of these, go down and check out uh, Mr. Add-On's webpage. I will put a link to that in the description of the video here, and you can go see the product. It's about $40, and uh, right now it's unfortunately out of stock, but hopefully it will come in and be stocked more regularly. Maybe if you get on Twitter and bother Mr. Add-Ons, he'll uh, want to put more in production if you promise to buy some from him. But that's going to do it for today's episode. I do want to say one more thing. Please do not click off the video just yet. We have been launching our brand new show, The Bunker. It is a live episode show. It's airing every Monday and Thursday live here on the channel at YouTube. I do have a couple episodes already published from last week, and they are listed also in the description of this video under a playlist there if you want to check it out. Or if you just want to drop by live, uh, please do so. We should be going live about 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Mondays and Thursdays. But hey, thanks again everybody for checking out this fun video. Again, I really like the Reflex Adapter. Thank you Mr. Add-ons for adding it to your store, and I'll see you guys next time with some more retro content.